What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today is reveal day of the garage being 90% done. It's not completely finished, but most of the major things are all done. So let's go in here and take a look. everything is complete I'm about 90 about 85% done with this garage the majority of all the major stuff that the contract had to do is all done uh, light survey and drywall is all straightened out all the lines are perfectly straight and the window trims all painted let me just show you guys exactly what we did in the garage so first off if you remember the door was completely white with gold uh, like a brass type of handle so I switched everything all black I wanted it to have a nice shine to it, so I went with a semi-gloss um, limousine black from Bear. I'll show you guys the paint code in a second. And I did all the same paint around the new trim that I did around the door. So if you remember, it was like a pencil type of trim that I went around, but I changed all the door trim and the window trim to match exactly the same. So that came out nice and stylish. So I, I wanted like a nice shine to it, so I went with a semi-gloss and I added, added extra protection for what I'm gonna be doing in the garage. So I did all the same around the window trims here. Changed the window trim around the edge and painted it with that limousine black. So you can see all around the garage, I did the same color and the same window trim here. Now mainly when you come into the garage, your eye is drawn to the race stripe. I opted to do a race stripe up high because I didn't want it to be obstructed by everything that I'm going to put along the walls. So in this corner I'm going to be putting my uh, new cabinet scent that's on its way. Well actually it already arrived last week so I'm going to be putting the new cabinet set in this corner here. And back here is going to be mainly covered where the lifts are going to go. I'm going to try to get at least two lifts by the summer. Maybe if I can get a good deal, I'll get all three because the plan is to put three, four post lifts in the back so I can stack six cars in the back. And the front area over here can be for when I'm working on a car or just for hanging out with the boys and hanging out with the kids and everything. So um, that's what I plan on doing here. I have a lot of outlets that I added or had them add along the walls. A lot of them were already here, but I had additional ones placed in. Um, Especially in the back where I'm going to be plugging in the four post lift. So there's going to be one lift there um, Either lift plugged in that one or this one and To the far right over here. So this one is going to be for one of the four post lifts I, Having a garage painted freshly painted like this and then having a the floor that looks like this It just doesn't um, look right. I had a few epoxy companies come by uh, about two weeks ago and the estimates that they gave were insane I mean one guy gave me, this is a 30, 30, the floor plan, just the, the concrete that they would have to do is roughly about 31 by 31 feet. And I got a range from 7,000 up to $12,000 to epoxy this. And they gave me 15 year warranties. I mean, having a 15 year warranty with that much money, I'm not, I wasn't too confident in that. I mean, I've no, I know there's a lot of companies that really do a good job and everything like that but it's just a little bit out of my price range right now so i opted to go with a a, a race deck type of material um, we'll be talking about that in the next video when i'm installing that stuff but um if you look along the borders this was actually gray at the top um a lot of these trims they didn't paint um the pot the top piece of this trim is actually 
This is actually wood, and this is the uh, concrete cinder block with the uh, mortar on top of that. It's breaking away a little bit, so that's why I didn't paint that because I'm gonna have a rubber type of uh, baseboard rollout that I'm gonna put along that side, so you're not even gonna see this concrete. So I'll explain that when I'm putting in the floors because that goes in after I install the floor tile. So the top, like I said, the top is wood, so I painted that with the same exact paint that I did the race stripe with and all the wood trim around the door and the windows and the door and the um, the windows in the race stripe. So I did all, I used all the same type of paint around here. So anyway, the thing to cap off this garage, we're gonna hit the floors next and then I'm I have some crown molding that's also on the way. Um, they didn't finish that portion because the number that they gave me for that was insane. So I have a product that's coming in that I'm gonna use to cover that two by six that uh, runs along where the truss connects to the roof. So they didn't box that in with the sheet rock, which is okay. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy how it came out. I know it was a lot of problems um, back and forth about little things that I didn't like and disagreed with, but at the end of the day, they did a really good job. I hate how I had to clean up the big mess that they left. I really don't think that was professional for them to leave stuff like that. I'll show you guys really quick. This is the pile that they left in the middle of my garage, and I spent all day cleaning it up. I understand that the materials, getting rid of the materials, wasn't in the bill or the estimate, to remove materials. I understand that like sheetrock that they had to take down or, or uh, trim around the edges, but to leave like their lunch bags from their trash, their coffee mugs, the coffee cups, Gatorade bottles that doesn't look like Gatorade if you know what I mean, because you know, there's no bathroom in here. Because I was a little agitated that I gave them the garage nice and clean. You guys saw me, you guys and girls saw me. I cleaned out the complete garage and I left it in good form for them to work in and then they just tear everything down do what they need to do and then jump jump ship and oh yeah we're all done can you pay us i'm like what are we going to do about the trash luckily i had one of the um the baxters that you can see right here i had one of the baxters uh, so i threw everything in the baxter and i dragged it to the front of my property so i could have them uh towed at all but it is what it is the garage finished um, I just can't wait. I can't wait to move on to the next step getting the floor in then I can install my cabinets after I install my cabinets We'll put, we'll put the TV in the uh, surround sound um, Speakers we're gonna be going in here and then finally get the cars back in here so I can start working on them. It's already the first week of spring and my cars are sitting outside under tarps because of the garage renovation so hopefully I can get this done in the next week so I can get it done by hopefully this weekend because there are a lot of shows that's coming up and I still have to get a lot of my projects done. Let me just show everybody the paint codes just in case you're curious. I used from Benjamin Moore, this latex flat commercial coating. So basically that's the white that you see here. This is a commercial paint. So if any repairs have to be done down the road, um, patchwork, whatever, it can blend really nicely and smooth where you're not gonna even see patch lines. Um, that's why I, um, my contractor told me this is a good uh, paint for that situation because I'm gonna be working in the garage just in case I back in one of my cars, just in case I back up one of my cars a little bit too close to the, uh, the uh, wall or something happens that I have to do some work on there, this paint will blend well and I can just paint over it. So I still have to do a little bit touch up paint because like I said, I did the baseboard um, boards I painted and you can see where I taped that. I just missed it with my brush because I was rushing and I started whipping the brush around and I got a couple spots along here that I have to paint up, so. I mean, it's not too bad, just a couple pieces. Now with the black, I wanted to go with a nice, nice dark black, which is at the same time have a nice gloss to it. I'm using this interior semi-gloss enamel by Bear. Basically, this is just a, it's a paint and a primer and it's a uh, limousine leather. I don't know if you guys can see that. So if you go to Home Depot, if you really like this color, you can see how it has a semi shine to it. 
I really like that look because it looks like one of those race stripes that's on a car. That's what I really wanted to have in this garage. Now I went back and forth with a red and a black and I felt that the black would suit my garage a little bit better with all the cars that I'm gonna have in here so I can match everything up because I have a few red cars and I think that'll make the garage pop with having the red cars in here anyway. And then having red stripes and red windows and red door with the red cars, I think it's gonna be a little much. So I opted to do the black stripes. So just, just let me know how you think the black looks. Um, it were, if, if I should have went with the red, but I like the black. Just comment down below if you see, just let me know how you like the garage and everything like that. So these are the two paints that I used and um, that's about it. So next thing we're gonna do is gonna put down that, the floors and then we're gonna put that baseboard rollout rubber piece that we're gonna use to cover up that ugly face of that uh, cinder block. That's why I didn't go too far down with the paint. So we're, that's gonna be covered with a rubber baseboard rollout piece. And then uh, the, the floor is gonna go down. And then once that is, once that's down, we're gonna put in the cabinets. And once the cabinets get in, stereo and entertainment system, and hopefully the lifts can get here before the summer. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy of the progress and I'm going to be hitting more of it. We're going to be getting more videos going. It's just a situation that happened over the winter time with the family, slowed things down a little bit and the garage renovation gave me a little kickstart. Even though this is slowing things down because of how I had to deal with the contractors and everything like that, but the ball is rolling and we're going to be getting more content, better content for everybody out there. I appreciate for everybody that stuck with me and always love and peace. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, ain't grow.